First, though, to travel. 42 tracks in the Waitakere Ranges have been closed to help prevent the spread of Cody dieback disease. That means that Aucklanders are short of some weekend bushwalks. Here to give us some great ideas for alternatives, I'm joined by Mike Corn from Fuller's and 360 Discovery Cruises. Good morning to you. Morning, Mel. So I am figuring, figuring that we are, we're talking offshore islands, aren't we? Can you give us a quick overview first of where you sail to? Uh, absolutely. So we, uh, we have regular sailings all through the Hauraki Gulf. Um, don't, don't often uh, put walking tracks with islands together, but in actual fact there's some fabulous, fabulous islands out there to go walking on. Um, mostly we know about Waiheke Island, although often we put that with vineyards, I think, rather <laughs> than walking, uh, and uh, Rangitoto Island, which is, which is really close. Mm. Um, but I think some really special ones we should talk about today are Rotoroa uh, and also Teri Teri Matangi. They are beautiful, and I'm very familiar with these islands because uh -huh. I'm a sailor and I've done a lot of walking on them. Tell us more first about Rotoroa Island. Well, Rotoroa Island is uh, about 75 minutes um, out, of, out of downtown Auckland. Uh, and it's, it's actually a really fabulous trip all the way through the Hauraki, uh, the Hauraki Gulf, out, out through um, past Waiheke, and it's tucked around on the southern end. Uh, and uh, It looks absolutely it, amazing. We're just seeing some shots on screen there. I was it's just, so beautiful. I was just getting distracted with those at this stage <laughs> as well, um, to be fair. You talk to me, we'll watch those. <laughs> okay. Look, it's got, a, it's got a really rich history out there. Um, uh, and it's been a, a sanctuary of sorts for the last 100 years mm. for, um, uh, for actually uh, alcohol and drug mm. uh, addiction and rehabilitation. Um, and what it is now is it's, it's, uh, it's a sanctuary for wildlife, uh, which, is, which is really down to the uh, Rotorua Wildlife Trust, um, who are just a fabulous group of people um, uh, working pretty closely with uh, Auckland Zoo and Department of Conservation. Mm. So uh, fantastic island with great walks. It is gorgeous too and I know for a fact you cannot take your dogs there because that is a no-go. So what sort of wildlife can I we I was going to say, was that, that you, was it? That was not me. Yeah. I do not do that. I obey the laws when it comes to dogs on islands that are allowed to. So what about wildlife though? Because I don't want my dog eating any wildlife. So they've got about 15 species that they've introduced mm. out there. Um, the one that I particularly like are the Takahe. Um, and so when I jumped off the boat when I was last out there, there's four I was going to say big fat takahe, but that's not quite right. Um, some really robust, healthy takahe out there. Um, uh, pretty much uh, 10 seconds from where we jumped off. And there's four of them. Um, breeding, a breeding pair, uh, their uh, chick from last year and their chick from the year before. So that's great. And I, I haven't seen many of those at all. So really, really accessible. Um, there's a whole lot of kiwi on the island as well. Yeah. Um, and what's really interesting about that is that the kiwi are actually, um, their eggs from the Coromandel, they come across Auckland Zoo, they hatch them at Auckland Zoo, um, and then they put them on the island for a couple of years. So really, Rotorua is a bit of a crash, I oh, think, as much so as cool. anything else. So cool. And, and then they must them up and they take them off and they put them back to Coromandel, where they came from originally. And so, you support all these volunteer days that they have there too, don't Oh, you? absolutely, yeah. Uh, and it's such an important thing. I mean, they've had to plant something like 400,000 trees over the past uh, five or six, six years. So. Uh, really important um, that that they get the volunteers to help them because there's lots and lots to do yeah. with that and this track maintenance, all that stuff that kicks in through. We winter. need to move on to Tiri Tiri Matangi because I don't want to I don't want to miss out on this yeah. one. Tell us, it's it's renowned for its bird song and it is something quite special. Tell us a little bit more about it. It is really special. In fact, it hits you when you first get off. Yeah. So I was talking about 15 birds on Rotorua. Um, on Tiri Tiri, there's uh, there's a good 51 different species. There. I planted trees in that island years ago. You planted trees. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yep. Um, I saw that while I was over. There. Their last actually, <laughs> it's great, um, and uh, and again uh, the bird the bird life really really hits you in terms of the sound, and they're everywhere. It's uh, it's really really rich. Um, the other thing there is uh, back in 1988, I think I get the dates right. Um, supporters of Tiri, so it's a it's a community led um, restoration project, which is arguably the best in the world, and and you can really see that when you get a cross and mm. have a good look around. Spectacular and gorgeous water yeah. as well. Uh, so what about visitors? How can visitors help protect the islands? Uh, the biosecurity is probably the most critical thing and um, we, we work with Department of Conservation guidelines uh, uh, and I, I, I note that, um, sorry I don't note, 
Um, certainly, certainly the sorts of pests that we're trying to keep off the island are, are, are rats yeah. and stoats and mice Don't and those sorts of things. Don't take your pet rat. Um, the other thing is seeds. So seeds are, are equally evasive in yeah. terms of, um, you know, uh, the wrong weeds over there is, are as, as bad as having mice on the island. So uh, brushing your feet, making sure that we, uh, we get all the seeds off that is really important. Um, any of the food that you take over goes in plastic bags, um, mice seem to find a way into most things, so it's all got to be visible, all your bags have to be properly tied up, um, and we spend quite a bit of time getting that right as we go across, because we have a level of control that we can do that. Yeah, and that is good. Hey Mike, yeah. thank you so much. Beautiful islands, everyone should go and have a look at them because they're fantastic. And I'm sure also that everyone's more than happy to help protect the wildlife on the islands as well. If you are interested in visiting the islands in the Hauraki Gulf, whether it's for a walk to see the wildlife, or as a volunteer, you can head over to fullers.com co.nz to book your ferry travel plus get heaps of ideas for what to do once you've reached your destination thank you so much for joining awesome. us thank you